there's a man that I call in the holy name of your son Jesus, not for form or fashion today, but I come, God, desiring to preach to your children today. But oh, Heavenly Father, I realize that I can't do it without you. So I just ask that the presence of your Holy Spirit show up in this place today. God, the call of the preacher today. Speak, Father, in a way that it will go forth and make a difference in the, the ears of a dying generation and tell some soul today what thus saith the Lord. Yeah. Right now, God, I ask that you clear hearts, clear minds. And as your word go forth, it, 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 it will enter in, God, and, and your children will be cognizant of, of the word of God today. And yeah. not only hear the word, but desire. Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 I want you to bear with me today. One of the definitions of religion in the random dictionary, house dictionary, is defined as something one believes in or follows devotedly. Come on now. I'm going to take my time today. The, the, the definition describes our religion of Christianity uh, because we believe in the living God and follow the teachings of Jesus. Come on, boy. During my, 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 my college study of world religion, I learned that, that Christianity is only one religion in the midst of many. Symbols, myths, and rituals, which reveal uh, aspects of the ultimate source that they believe in or follow. For instance, in Christianity, the cross is symbolic of Jesus' crucifixion. The elements of the Lord's Supper are symbolic of the broken body and shed blood of Jesus. Rituals, rituals are a part of our religion of Christianity because it sets aside sacred times in the midst of ordinary times in order to reflect upon or celebrate those things that remind us of the ultimate ritual that, that we believe in, of the ultimate source that we believe in. For example, our Weekly worship services, annual Christmas and Easter celebrations are ritualistic times that have been set apart from our ordinary times. Alright, can I get a witness? Bear with me. In, in the study of religion, I, I want to teach a little while this morning. In the study of religion, the milk is not a false story, but our stories that people accept surrounding the ultimate power they believe in. And generally, it is a story that's accepted without question. One good example is the story about the creation that's found in the book of Genesis. Christians have no problem accepting the creation story as being factual. It is one of the mythical stories of our religion. The problem with those things that's a part of our religion, such as the symbols, the rituals, and myths, yeah. is they are things that relate to God, but they are not God. Come on, come on. Christians must understand that our practice of religion makes us religious. Yet it does not mean that we are in God's hands or Satan. Just because you wear a cross around your neck, Yeah. 
tradition. Tradition that moves us forward than I teach us that. No, I am out against the good religion, for religion has its place. Oh yeah, it has its place as long as it doesn't replace Jesus. I'll make a religious nut out of you. Where you can't see the trees for the bar. Tradition. 
preaching. The sad thing is that some churches that Jesus has had to leave behind because they've got so caught up within their own doctrine and religion they may impose rules upon people that will keep them bound instead of setting them free. Oh yeah, there are some sanctimonious church people that are still putting people through unnecessary changes. Still require some people to do what God doesn't even require him to do. Still trying to measure others by their own measuring stick rather than God's word. Church people like that need more Jesus and less religion. It's religion and not Jesus who will have you complaining about who ought to be in the church and who ought not to be. It's too much religion and not enough Jesus that will have you talking about what somebody ought to wear or ought not to wear.
tell somebody what the preacher said. Preacher, Lord, I don't know about anybody else. If I can get a word from the Lord, when I find myself in a hole, if I could just remember a word while in the midst of a heartache and tribulation, if I could just get a word from the Lord, I hope to be able to run on to see what the end will be. I'll stop right here to tell you that receiving a word from the Lord is something that comes from a personal relationship with Jesus and not from your religion. With the preacher that said there are some things that your religion can't change. Yeah. It can't change the fact that Jesus is the Son of God born of the Virgin. Yeah. It can't change the fact that he walked the streets of Jerusalem, healing the sick and raising the dead. Yeah. It, 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 it can't change the fact that you that they nailed him to an old rugged cross, and from that old rugged cross they lowered him into the cold grave. But hey, Jesus that lifted me up. And I don't know about you if you 
search the word today. Realize that you've been you've been living out religion. And not true Christianity. See, Christianity is religion. That means you follow Jesus. But I declare you can't follow Jesus and mistreat people at the same time. You can't follow Jesus and raise a bunch of hell in the church and in the community. You can't follow Jesus. I declare you're following somebody else other than Jesus. So what you need today, my brothers and sisters, maybe y'all might be all right. But I want you to take this word and tell somebody outside of Third Street that maybe you need 